Okay, uh, many moons ago, Pato worked for this company where we used to go fuel up at this service station. And there was this adorable, beautiful creature there that everybody used to flirt with. And all the single guys were trying to... And said, Do the matches mambo. Yeah, basically, they, they, they were all competing for that. Right, they wanted to slip their hot dog into the bun. Well, as it turns out, well, this young lady turned they, out. They, to want, they wanted to slap their, get their face slapped with the taco lips. Well, uh, yeah, they could have gotten slapped. But the thing is, <laughs> even, I oh, mean. Oh, you're saying they could have gotten their face slapped or something, not taco lips? Yeah, well, the thing is, is that what had happened there is, okay, one of the guys actually got got as far as going on a date. And then when the, he came back all pissed off and freaked out and just, you know, telling horror. So the rest of us, when we heard, next time we went to the gas station, we were, she, you know, she could tell we, we knew something because we weren't as flirty. as flirty as before. So... Uh, you know, I, I've all, you know, I've always been cool with people, and I, I wasn't, I wasn't an asshole. I didn't avoid her or whatever. But it's like, right. uh, you know, it's like, uh, and then somehow, I mean, you know, it's funny because some people that they, they they can read you, they know they're like, he goes, you're worried that because you found me attractive, you might be gay. I'm like, and then she's like, no, he goes, if I if I if I was a, if I look like a guy and you found me attractive, then you're gay. He goes, you found me attractive because I look like a woman. And I was like, mm, you got a point there. But, you know, <laughs> but it, things weren't the same for me after that. You know, I was like, oh, it was just high by and I, 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 it's OK. I don't want to go fuel the truck. Go ahead. You you fuel the truck. Huh. <laughs> like what? Well, well, before we all used to fight over fueling the truck to go. <laughs> no, no, it's like, no, I'm good. I'm good. No, but no, she, she was very cool people. I mean, don't get me wrong. And right. Don't get me wrong. It's like it's just that, especially back then. We're talking. This is we're talking about tw probably twenty years ago. So okay, twenty years ago it was not we, nearly as commonplace oh, as it is now. Not, not exactly. Twenty years ago was more of a taboo thing. I mean, you know. So this is like, ugh, you know. Well, at least we've come a long ways. Hey, definitely. You know, it, it is what it is. That's why, to me, especially people in showbiz like that. Or then again, I don't know. Maybe they do it because. I mean, up until this article, I the name Bencino didn't come to my head. Maybe it was at all. At all. So maybe it's a publicity stunt just to, you know, hey, good publicity, bad publicity, it's all publicity, right? I guess. Right. In, in That's that, what they say. In that world. So it is what it is. I don't know. Yeah, damn, definitely. We've been, st I don't know what, what happened today. <laughs> we started <laughs> off so good with a cruise and relaxing and well i guess because you didn't watch anything we didn't have anything else to talk about except some bullshit oh man well that's okay every now and then we're gonna have an episode that's gonna be a little weird and gonna I, be a little different and and actually that that's real life right now you know that that whole stepping back on the religion thing i mean you know it, it's i to me i don't know i i know there's a higher power but i just know that what we've been indoctrinated with it's not it. That's not the way. Yeah. That's it's not It's man made. It's uh it's yeah, it's been translated and fixed to control women, to control men, to, you know, a hey, if you don't do this, you're you're going to hell. Right. And then the people that are above a certain level, they apparently they can do whatever the hell they want to. <laughs> well, yeah. I mean, uh, yeah, it's yeah. The, the rules don't apply to them. So that's, yeah, it, it's just a big clusterfuck. Oh, I think, I think most organized religion is more of just a, there's a control mechanism. And, and yeah, it's like every one of them is saying, you know, like, okay. So like, I guess I, I look at it like Ford and Chevy owners, right? It, it, you know, a lot of the Ford and Chevy owners are like, well, you know, if you want a if you want a car that breaks down on you all the time, you get a Ford. And Ford says, well, you know, if you if you want a, a car that doesn't that ain't worth a shit, you get a Chevy. You know, like every one of them talks shit about each other. Yes. Yeah. 
And that's kind of what I see like religion, like all these different religions, all they do is shit talk other religions and, you know, make you feel bad and, and tell you what not to do. And I don't know. And commit genocide in the name of God. Right. Because. And I'm just like, you know, you only got one trip on this fucking rock, you know, enjoy it. Live your life. Try to be a good person. Uh, speak for you yourself. Know what I mean? You know what I mean? Try to be a good person. And, mm. and, and. Well, you know, like, listen, yeah, you may end up coming back, but you may not come back as a person. You may come back as a slug. You don't know. Yeah. <laughs> like, like I, don't, I don't know. You you may end up coming back as a cow. Fuck, I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, you'd be sacred. Unless you, but, you know, unless you come back as a cow here in the States, then you're you're hamburger. Right. Then you're fucking wasabi or whatever the uh, yeah. Wagyu beef. I want to um, come back as an immature radioactive samurai slug. <laughs> that would be dope. <laughs> <laughs> you know where that came from, right? Mm, no. You remember fucking uh, Tiny Toons? Oh, yeah, Tiny Toons. They, they would mock everything. So the Tur Ninja Turtles cartoon was like one of their main competitors at the time. So right. the, one radioactive of the samurai slugs. <laughs> immature radioactive samurai slugs. <laughs> And I guess, you know, what they were ahead of their time. Animaniacs and Tiny Toons were ahead of their time. Fuck Animaniacs, dude. I think I was like 18, 19 years old when those things came out and I got hooked. Animaniacs. They were so ahead of their time. I mean, fuck. I was working at the airport at that time and uh, uh, there was a whole bunch of fucking 18, 20 year olds watching that shit. I mean, of course, every time we saw a pretty lady walking by, of course, you know, the Yakko came out in all of us and hello. <laughs> nurse <laughs> what it was accepted at that time now you can get lawsuit uh i guess yeah holy shit animaniacs could get you in trouble now right holy a fuck. lot of them could yeah holy shit now a lot of those cartoon cartoon humor back then it's like uh, i don't know i don't know if it's a good thing or a bad thing you know <laughs> Yeah, we've come so we've come a long way, but at the same time, we've learned we've lost the ability to laugh at ourselves. Yeah, I mean, we you and I come from a time where Mel Brooks was huge, and he made fun of everybody. Yeah, he, he didn't care. And but nowadays, Mel Brooks would be yeah. dude, he'd be drunk. He'd be brought out into the town center and hung. <laughs> Pretty much. Or set a fire, one of the two, he would be cursed. Like, dude, it would be horrible. Burned at the stake. It, re it really would be. It would be, it would be crazy. But I, I think that, you know, the funny thing is that now that I look at it, by losing the ability to laugh at ourselves, I mean, you know, we're taking everything so fucking serious, and maybe we shouldn't because, I mean, nobody gets out of this rock alive. I mean, you know, that's like, right. That's well, right. We, we take life so fucking serious. It's like, why so serious? I don't know. <laughs> Sounds like the Joker. Why uh, so serious? I don't know. That, oh, shit. Now that I think about it, yeah, fuck. <laughs> Holy hell. Now, nah, maybe that was done on purpose. I don't know. All I'm saying is we probably shouldn't take ourselves too fucking serious because, like I said, not one of us is going to make it out of this rock alive. We The, the, the ticket out of this place is, well... Even though I'm in no rush to buy that ticket, right? I'm like, you know, uh, uh, one of the things that uh, uh, somebody made a comment. You know, every now and then you'll hear a comment, and it maybe not even directed at you. Maybe, maybe it has nothing to do with your situation, but you just hear something, and it just clicks in your head. Mm -hmm. And one of the things that I heard many, many, many years ago was, in ten years, it, it, let's say something bothers you, stop. Thinks. Like, if you have the ability to close your eyes and think, in 10 years, will I even remember this incident? Mm. Or in 10 years, will this bother me? And it, if, if the answer is no, then why the fuck should it bother you now? Mm. You know what? It's a good way to look at it. <laughs> That's just how I've been looking at everything here lately. Like, oh, God, like especially with driving a bus, okay? So, since I drive a bus for a living, I, dude, I get cut off. All the time. People cut in front of me, slam their bags in front of me all day long. Well, yeah, because we got places to go, and you motherfuckers are just in the way there. 
So what right, if you're tra- right. transporting a shitload of people and somewhat maybe saving the environment a little bit by, you know. Right. It, it, but, and, and more, maybe, it doesn't matter. You're yeah. in my way. and Well, anyways, I used to be real bad at, at road raids and, you know what I mean, like asshole drivers would really get under my skin. So and have- I really adopted this idea like, oh, you cut me off. Okay. Well, it wouldn't bother me in 10 years, so why the fuck? I won't even remember it 10 years from now. Why, why is it bothering me now? And I just, whatever, have a good day. <laughs> you right, know, well, like I'm just kind of taking it on, like whatever. Well, I hope you maintain that attitude because I don't want to read an article saying that bus driver ran people off the road because <laughs> <laughs> podcaster went nuts. and <laughs> <laughs> went nuts and drove his bus through the Starbucks. <laughs> yeah, shit. But no, so that's just that's just my way of I, the, I've been looking at things here lately. Like, yeah, in the grand scheme of things, it's not really important. Yeah, let you, it go. I'd you, rather focus on other things. Usually, it's like a eh, hundred years from now, nobody will give a shit. That's my thing, you know. And I move on. But yeah, yeah, I guess you can cut it down to ten. Right. Yeah, like in ten years, or we could all we could all end up like you know. Charlton, remember it wasn't it Charleston, Charlton Heston that was in uh, Planet of the Apes, the original. Yes. Okay. When uh, <laughs> when he he gets to the shore and he sees the Statue of Liberty, he's like, "You bloody bastards! Finally did it! You finally did it! You blew it all up!" <laughs> <laughs> well, why? like I don't want to end up at that point. You know, of course, I, I do think it'd be kind of cool to be you know, in his position, that'd be yeah. kind of cool to be transported to the future and end up seeing apes controlling everything. That'd be kind of cool. Of course, that scene was also parodied by Spaceballs. So right. <laughs> it was like, oh shit, isn't that what they said when they saw Spaceballs crawling out of the Statue of Liberty? <laughs> yeah, they're like, uh, oh, you did it. <laughs> All right. Well, hey, uh, we've uh, probably pissed off half of the world and uh the other you know the other half too today by talking religion and all kinds of other shit so uh, yeah that's okay we uh, were we were to, we, a, to a certain degree we were we were respectful we we were no yeah no obviously like i said we don't want to knock down on anybody's beliefs you believe what you want to believe but like i said they, they, that shit was funny i mean right hey right and like we always say, as long as your heart's in the right place, we don't care what you put in your mouth. And yeah, that's something that we normally say <laughs> around here, you know, and I don't know. Yeah, that that's good. I think we're going to make, I'm going to, I'm going to get online and I'm going to try and make some t-shirts up that say that. <laughs> as long as your heart's in the right place, we don't We care. don't give a shit what, what you put in your mouth. Hey, that's I your... think that'll, that'll work. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, then, uh, like I said, hey, we touched a lot of subjects today. And, you know, uh, we did touch mental instability and, I don't know, hopelessness and all that shit. So before we get the fuck out of here, you know, I'm going to throw this number out there, 800-273-8255. And that's the National Suicide Prevention Lifeline, you know, because, uh, you know, we're all jokey-jokey and shit, but uh, maybe somebody is... Maybe you're in it, yeah. Maybe you're in a dark place, and that tunnel you're going down is really dark, and you can't find a light at the end of the tunnel. And uh, I would Maybe. say talk to one of us, but uh, that's probably not a good idea. So, right. so yeah, 800-273-8255, or they have the website where you can, I guess you can chat with them too, because lately a lot of people don't like to talk. Right. Know? So it's uh, suicidepreventionlifeline.org. All right. Yeah, you hit know. them up. Don't do anything stupid. Yeah, hit them up. If you're in a dark place, or you know anybody that's in a dark place, you know, it's good to ha- it's number that's good to have. Cause hey, you know, right? Listen, I've been in a dark place before. Yeah. I know, I know all about it. I, I've been in that dark tunnel where you you can't even see the light. You don't know where you're going. You don't know which way is up or down or side to side. And, and you know, I was fortunate enough to have a couple of good friends that that you know, I could turn to who they themselves have been down that dark tunnel. Um, so please, please, please reach out, talk to somebody besides, we want you to be 
be listeners and and follow us for a long time so yeah definitely that's like i said <laughs> everything we do we do it with selfish motives you know don't right uh, yeah. right <laughs> don't get it twisted <laughs> don't get it twisted <laughs> no.